Hamlin here from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome and thanks for joining me. In today's video, I uh, want to talk about something. This is kind of a, a drill, maybe an, an exercise, if you will, um, to help improve your soloing. Okay, and, and of course, I've done a lot of videos on, you know, various exercises, various ways to get you to, you know, see your fretboard in different ways and, uh, you know, different ideas, licks, uh, all this kind of stuff. But this one is designed to kind of help you take a step back, if you will. And and here's the here's the the key to this. You're going to play steady eighth notes. And I've got just a, you know, a basic shuffle uh jam track which you could play into a looper, you know, or you could find online. I'm sure uh you know, there's plenty of places to find find a shuffle blues in A. If you have the backing track that comes with my four note solo, uh, it's it that's a shuffle in A. Okay, they're all over the place. Shuffle in A is very common. So the idea is that you're going to play steady, consistent eighth notes. You're not going to stop. You're not going to take a breath. Okay. So how does that help? Well, here's the thing. If I'm playing through, right? Let's say I'm I'm playing you know A minor pentatonic. Even add the blue note if you want. Now you don't have to play straight up and down. And you could do a bend, for example, or slide. Anything like that'll work as long as you are fundamentally staying in just bouncing eighth notes. Okay? So here's the thing. What I want you to pay attention to is when we go from one chord to the next. For example, from A7 to D7, and attempt to land on the root note of that chord. At first, we'll start with the root note. As you get better at it, you could choose other notes, but let's start with the root note for now to land on a D, right? So, uh, for example, let's say that I was going to practice this. Let's say that I wanted to kind of break it down. What I would do is actually sort of record myself playing um, just the A1. Uh, let's see, let me clean up my tone a little bit here. Right, and I might get something like this. A1, uh, two, three, four, A. Right, so here's my four bars of A7. And then I go to my D7 for two bars, right? back to my A7 for two bars. I might as well play the whole thing at this point. <laughs> E7, D7, A7, and E7. All right, so there's the whole loop. So as it plays, what I'm trying to do is guess Okay, now I don't know if you caught that, but when when the D chord came, I hit that D note. Okay, so what this is going to require you to do is to think ahead a little bit and to think ahead, okay, I got two beats to go, that's four notes, how am I going to get four notes between here to land on that D? This is the kind of thinking that you want to start to train yourself to do, but it's really hard. It takes some time. Okay, so you kind of have to, th you have to practice it, just like everything else, you have to practice it. Okay, and so this is a good way to practice that. If I have my thing going, one, two, three, four, one. So there I landed on the D, okay? And I might have the same thing, I'm trying to turn that down just a little bit. So there's the E. There's the A. E. A. Here's D. D, 
so as those chords were going by, I was kind of going up and back down and killing a little time when I needed to and just sort of trying to make stuff up that would land me, boom, right on that root note as that next chord comes, okay? Now, is this going to be easy? No, probably not. <laughs> it definitely takes some practice. And I would isolate it. I would just do one chord at a time. A to D, for example. Get comfortable with that. It's going to take some time. But you can leave it run. You can try all of the chords as you go. When you miss one, don't worry about it. Just try the next one. You don't have to beat yourself up over this. It's, it's an exercise. It's a drill. It won't be perfect right off the bat. And if it is, you don't need me. <laughs> right? So it ain't going to be perfect right off the bat, but that's okay. It's the practice. It's the, it's the process that will improve you. It's not a new pattern. It's not a new scale. You can do it any scale, anywhere, doesn't matter. Okay? It's, it's, it's a drill to get you used to taking a little bit more of that 30,000 foot view and looking ahead to what is to come. All right? So, I hope you'll try it. I hope you'll, you know, grab a guitar, grab a looper if you have one, or turn on a jam track and try to do this for yourself. It will improve your playing, I promise. All right? So as always, if you have a friend that would dig this video, please share it with them. If you're watching it on the YouTubes, uh, subscribe, hit the little thing that makes it so you know when I send these out, because they do come out fairly, fairly regularly. You can check out more bluesguitarunleashed.com. I am Griff Hamlin, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.